I'm Sasha. I'm a little random. Welcome and welcome back. All right. Okay. So, um, spring is almost here. I'm super excited. I have started planting gardening seeds, but this, this is going to be favorite plants of winter. Yes, I know winter is not over yet, but I'm really excited for spring to get here and I'm having a good day today. So let's go ahead and give you, um, my five favorites of winter okay um this is in no particular order but uh let's see i'm gonna start with the smallest one let's start with the smallest one so this was a wish list plant monstera thai constellation it has given me one new leaf this one here since i've gotten it um a few months ago maybe three months ago two or three months ago give me one leaf so it is a slow grower, I'm fine. It's also winter, so I mean, what, what, what you gonna do? But I do think that this has really good variegation in it. Um, it looks like it has pretty decent genes. See that leaf, this leaf is fading out, but I mean, it's the oldest one. It has the best variegation on it, but this gives me hope. I'm looking at the stems and everything, and I can see some of the variegation going through it. Like, I don't know if you can see up here. You see this, that's variegation. And you see the stripe variegation right here and right here. Um, so it's definitely going to give me some more variegated leaves, and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's pretty simple. I just let it dry out. I have it in a super chunky mix. I don't know if you can tell how chunky that mix is without spilling any, but that's a super chunky mix right there. Um, it's basically, excuse me, it's basically uh, one third bark, one third per. Uh, okay, so it's half half bark and then 25 percent uh soil and 25 percent perlite so it's very very chunky okay my normal mixture for plants that um still may need to dry out but just for just about a general use is one third of each and that's one third of perlite bark and soil okay um i prefer ocean forest um ocean floor something like that Fox Farm Ocean Floor or um, Black Gold, okay? Um, but this is not that type of video. So let's get to the next plant, okay? Um, I'm going to do a plant that is not a plant, but a plant. <laughs> that makes sense. It is a type of plant, um, although I consider this to be in its own category, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. So I'm going to put this down and we're going to do an orchid, okay? Yes. So this is um, Miki Black, uh, Phalaenopsis Miki Black Angel, okay? Miki Black Angel, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this coloring, look at this. You can't tell me that's not pretty, look at that. And I still have more buds to go. Um, I do need to fertilize it and I do need to water it, which is today is watering day, so um, it may be, it's a little floppy. Don't tell nobody, I let it dry out a little bit too much. But we're doing good. It's the middle of freaking winter, and this thing is giving me beautiful spring colors, okay? Um, on top of the little butterfly that I have here, my little butterfly clip. I think those are cute. They're, they're pretty much everywhere in this room, um, whether they're holding up a plant or they're holding on to something. I just like the way they look decorated in the, in the, in the area. Um, I really like this plant. This is the first time I've gotten it to bloom, and I got it, I want to say, in the middle of summer. Um, it's been less than nine months, so anything, anything within a year, if you when you get an orchid, if you can get the bloom on it on your own within a year, I think you're winning, and I'm winning. Okay, I'm super excited about this. I mean, look at it. Look how pretty that is. Look how shaky my left hand is. Okay, let's try the right hand. <laughs> That's a little better. That's a little better. That is pretty. Look, at, let's get a little closer. A little closer. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. So it's been blooming for roughly about, it's been, it's been a month now. It's been, it's been about a month and I'm really excited about it. Um, and I still have buds that need to come. One of them dried out, so I'm kind of just waiting for that to fall off. That's this one here. This one dried out because again, I let it, I let it, uh, I let it, uh, dry for too long and I didn't water it. Um, 
I am still kind of recovering from my surgery, so I have not been able to get into this room very often, which is another reason why I'm super excited to be up here now because it's up to steps and steps have not been my friend since surgery. Um, I am getting better with everything. I am getting better with everything, but these plants are definitely helping, okay? All right, so let's do this one. This is my string of turtles or uh, something prostrata. <laughs> I can never remember. It's actually doing very good. This is another thing that I have not quite watered, but it's still doing very well. Look at that. Look at the hang time that I'm getting. If I could find a picture of when I first got it and the date, I'll put it right here. But until then, ooh, laning is not comfortable. All right. So until then, look at this. That is pretty. It's definitely grown. It's definitely healthy. You can see it was blooming, but again, I have not been able to keep up my watering as often as I needed to. Um, and it, a lot of things in this plant room just look sad, to be honest. So maybe that will be my next video. <laughs> post surgery plants. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, I am really happy about this. Everybody said that this would be very difficult. I find this to be very easy. That being said, I have not transferred it from its pot from the pot that it came in. So it's it's not actually planted in this pot. It's actually still in a pot inside of this. So um, I'll be honest, I'm a little afraid to repot it because everybody says once you repot it, it dies back or it just dies, period. And I just wanna make sure that it's in a very happy state before I do that. So I'm definitely gonna wait until spring really hits for real. And then I'm gonna transfer it into this pot because they, do, they don't mind being root bound. Um, from what I hear and um, it'll it can stay in this pot for a very long time Before it needs to be repotted again. I did think of putting it in a five uh, a five inch pot This is a four inch um, Inside of a wide mouth four inch. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know um, We'll see how it goes I'm going to try not to be super paranoid because at some point it does have to be transplant, transplanted and uh, I don't want to hold off on that. Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's do what I want to say is a weird one, but I really like it and I am just kind of in shock with how happy it is right now in the middle of winter. I swear the end of winter. It's been doing very good. Um, I scorched it in the summertime leaving it out. And it's very, very sensitive. It will break off, but it propagates very easily. So I'm going to see if I can get this up. Moving this the first time was very difficult. Okay. All right. So this is my Huernia Sabrina. Yes. See? And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you something. You see this? Where is it? Where is it? I got to find it. I got to find it. Gotta... Oh, right here, right here. This right here. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, this right here, see that little thing right there? That's a that's a bud coming in, okay? And these are buds. Look at these flowers. They're absolutely ridiculous. Look how weird that is. I love it. It's super pretty. I have a third one right here. And let me just get, let me get up close because I really want you to be able to see this, okay? Look at that. That is absolutely pretty. And weird looking it's so pretty and weird looking <sighs> um I just lost another flower another flower just dropped because it finished blooming but there are one two three four new blooms about to come in and it's been growing people I've had this since um I want to say last April. I can't even remember how long I've had this. If I can remember, I'll put another pic a picture of what this looked like when I first got it. It grew very quickly. It grew very quickly that first year. Um, it slowed down significantly after it got scorched. You can see some of the scorching here, like right there. You can see some of the scorching. And then there's another piece somewhere. Somewhere there's another piece. But um, it's very happy and I love the way it looks and it grows very, very easily. It's just in some cactus soil with 50% um, perlite. 
so that it can dry out but it won't um and it won't uh get mushy or rot because it's still i don't know if this is technically classified as a cacti or just is Huernia its own genus? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody help me, please, if you know, because I'm clueless. But I do love this plant. Um, I think it's weird and interesting. And I love the blooms again. They're, I mean, it's just so happy. It's so happy. And I do not understand why. I do have it under direct light. Um, um, indirect bright light. I'm sorry. Indirect bright light. Um, I fertilize it every um every other watering um because cacti I didn't, I didn't know how to really treat it I'm, I'm treating it like a cacti which technically shouldn't be fertilized in the middle of winter but i also wanted to take in consideration that this room does not change um it does get a little cooler in the winter but for the most part it's air conditioned it's got the same lighting throughout the year 12 hours on 12 hours off um and uh it's just it's just been super happy and I'm, I'm super happy that I bought this I actually bought this for my birthday two years ago I bought this for my 40th birthday and I'll be 42 this year so in two years this thing has just been giving me the business and I mean the good business it has been growing it has been blooming it has been breaking off and I have I did um give a couple of pieces away to a few people because they they fall off but they propagate this propagates super easily just plop it in some dirt it'll be fine it'll get, give it a month or two it'll be rooted and just as happy and growing and frolicking all over the place yes just like just like this frolicking i i actually need to get a stand for this um repotting is gonna suck <laughs> it's gonna suck so bad because again this is inside of a, this is a pot inside of a pot and um, I'm debating on when I want to repot this and and what size pot I want to repot in because it's super it's it's big okay I have no idea what the roots look like but this is this is pretty big <laughs> this is a pretty big cacti uh, cactus Wernia something I'll look it up later right now I don't know but you know because you know, I either put it on the screen or you looked it up afterwards yay um. I just it, it, this would be great in a Medusa head. Can you just picture the the Medusa face right there and the, the Grecian look with this just flowing out? That I mean, think I just now I want one. Dang it! Now I want a Medusa head. I've been wanting a Medusa head. I actually have a very small one. Actually, I might show you that. Hold on, hold on. I have to figure out how to sit this down without breaking the parts that hang over. So. But, yay, I did it. I didn't break anything. Getting it back is going to be interesting. But let me just show you my little, my little itty bitty Medusa head. I want a bigger version of this. And I think it would be really cute if I could get like a six inch one and put this in it. Bear with me here. Okay. So, you see this? Can you just imagine? And I would pick it up at the same time, but I can't. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a picture side by side. <laughs> I don't know. But can you just imagine that plant? in something like this but like bigger so that it would fit that size and it just cascading over to the side that would be gorgeous i, I actually love this little planter um i got this for either christmas or my birthday i can't quite remember i suck at dates don't tell nobody okay um but i just love it and i'm wondering now if they have it in a bigger size it, it's it's going to be worth every penny if i can fit this plant in that because this is my dream now. I have I have fantastical ideas. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this down and we are going to do plant number one. Five. We're already at five. Um okay. <laughs> the fifth one is a little bit large. Um I just got a new leaf and I'm excited. This is one of my newer plants, so um I have just been waiting to see how it acclimates. Um, you've seen this in a recent video, and this is my philodendron SP Columbia, and I hate Caterpill. I I don't hate it, but I, I absolutely dislike it. So, Caterpill, just ripping that off. All right. Now that we have that together, I have to figure out how to fit this in frame. Um. Okay. So, this 
you see why now I love this so this obviously was the first leaf this was the first leaf still a good sizable leaf here okay this was the second leaf okay all right and then um, it did shrink a little bit in transport I guess but it this is the newest leaf this is the newest leaf it's not really hardened off yet yeah, that's not hardened off yet. Um, so it may grow a little bit, but I doubt if it grows a whole lot more. But look how pretty, look how pretty that leaf is. It still has some of the little um, glossy, sticky stuff on the side, which is fine. But look how, look how pretty this leaf is. Look how big this leaf is. Um, again, a pot inside of a pot. And I'm just gonna take it out really quickly so I can show you these roots um, I don't know if you can really see I'm gonna have to stand up again um, because I can't work zoom very well and timing and things like that so I'm just gonna stand up <sighs> okay you see how healthy these roots are I got this from Equigenera US okay do you see that do you see these roots I mean they're healthy they're happy they're mine <laughs> so I think we can all agree that this is a very pretty plant <laughs> okay um this was also on my wish list I did not know I would like it as much as I do but it's not it's, I mean look at it look at that it's like somewhere in between pillowy and just Something, some word I can't think of right now. <laughs> Obviously, SAT words are not for me right now. Another time, indubitably. Um, but this is just super nice. Now, I will say the way this uh, new plant grew in, it uh, it was kind of looped around. And so it, that's why it's a little bent right now. But it's also not finished hardening off. So I just think that this is... Look at that. That is a beautiful shot. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, but honestly, this is a very pretty plant. Again, I got this off Amazon. Amazon is my friend. I'm telling you, it's still my friend. I know everybody's on Tamu now, but like Amazon is the OG or maybe Wish was. I don't know, but Amazon is the OG for me. And I'm sticking with it. I'm still going to use Tamu for a couple of things just because, like, I just bought some uh, little pots for my garden. Um, so that's going to be awesome. Um, just uh, the seedlings, not my garden, but my, so I can start my seeds inside. That's, uh, that's awesome already. But these are my five. I hope that you like them. Let me put this down so you can actually see me through all the trees and forests and whatnot um i am super excited about all of these there are more but i don't want to show you my whole collection because half of them look sad a quarter of them look okay and then the uh other quarter just just are having a good time they're just having a good time like spring is already here um but i just don't want to show you everything because again we have a whole other season to get through and i kind of want to do another video i have another video idea that i kind of want to do um, I don't want to spoil it by showing you all the other plants that I have. So that, that actually looked decent. Um, any recommendations for videos, I'm open. And I just hope that you enjoyed these. I hope that you like these. And if you get any ideas about what to get for yourself next, that string of turtles, a lot easier than string of hearts, okay? Do not be intimidated. It's very easy. It has been very, very easy for me. And I kept it in whatever mossy peat moss soil they had it in before um so i don't know i don't know what to do with that one but yeah we, we love it we love it um the hernia the weird plant with the blooms I, i'm telling you very prolific grower it's very happy it's um it doesn't take a lot either my orchid of course um, everybody's not an orchid lover. They're not as hard as people say they are. You really just have to uh, pay attention to the care. The Phalaenopsis likes to dry out. I soak it for 10-15 minutes every week. 
I fertilize every fertile every watering at half strength with um Orchid Pro something and um at at uh, at at half strength and fish fertilizer at half strength. So I'm probably going to cut that down because I think I burnt one of my other orchids that's not a phalaenopsis. But my regular phalaenopsis loves that combination, but I think I'm still going to cut it down for all of them so that I can just water them all the same. They're not that hard. They're not. Um, honestly, you can usually get most of them to bloom within a year. The trick is the watering and the lighting. Those are the two things. And if you can get a variegated plant to grow, you can get an orchid to grow. Okay. And probably water less because if not just as much, maybe just as much. But honestly, I only have to water my orchids every five to seven days. Um, the ones that really like water, I probably have to water every four to four to four to four to six days. Um, really just depends on how hot it gets in the room, especially in the uh, summertime. But other than that, it's been a breeze. Like I only have phalaenopsis and I maybe I'll do an orchid tour. I think I'll do an orchid tour and we'll go more into care and things like that because I do have quite a few as you just saw with my unbox if you just saw with my last uh, mystery orchid unboxing video um, I just want to wait for that to see if I can get any of those to bloom so it may be a while <laughs> but um, I am super excited about this growing year um, I'm super excited uh, with for my indoor plants for my outdoor plants for my outdoor garden it's just going to be great. I have adventures and plans and ideas and fantastical, fantastical inspirations. So I am happy right now. Okay. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Don't be strangers. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know your tips, tricks, and ideas. And I will just have to see you later. <laughs>